folks, how's it going? Robin here, it's the 20th of March 2020 and everything has gone a little bit mental so uh, I've escaped to the Petland Hills tonight and I've met up with another YouTuber Gaz Explorers Well Camp in Scotland is your name? Uh, Scottish, Gaz Explorers Scottish Well Camping Aye, Gaz Explorers Scottish Well Camping There he is there He's quite new to the game so I'll put a link up to his channel there Check him out if you want so the summit, the summit of Scald Law is just literally up there and you just find a nice little grassy patch just, just below. We've got a bit of a, a southeasterly behind us, but it's not too bad. We're just going to get pitched up now and I'll bring you back later on. Two pumps and that's firm, that's pretty good going. So I've got a new piece of gear with me. It is the Alpkit cloak bivvy bag. Because I quite fancy doing a bit bivvying later on this year. And this one is super light. It wasn't too expensive, I think it was about 118 or something like that. So I brought it with me tonight just to give me a bit of warmth because I think the temperatures are to drop down below freezing this seem pretty baggy there of course I've still to get in it and my sleeping bag there we go, I'll have a shot of that later on I brought the trail star with me for a wee change, I've not had that out for a while Gary there's got his Hilleberg Solo Bombproof in the wind, and we're pitched in time for the sunset, which will be over there somewhere in the next half an hour or so. We're not going to get much of a sunset, it's just kind of you can see that snow flurry just passing down that way. This is looking southwest down in, into uh, Lanarkshire, and as you see, it's just gone a bit dull. Here we go. Shush you, you're putting me off my vlog. <laughs> this is you're putting me off my vlog. I'm just kidding. Ah, nah, it's alright, I'm just kidding, just winding you up. That is dinner served. I'm having creamy pasta with chicken tonight. Oh, I put too much water in it. Nightmare. I don't know if you can see that. Just a little bit of watery. Oh, it's a bit stodgy underneath, so it might be alright. Well, it's cleared up a bit, to be honest. It's not too bad. It's really cold, though. I've got the thermometer out, and it's 0 0.5 degrees. So it's going to be a cold one tonight. So I'm actually glad that I bought the bivvy bag with it, because it's going to be a bit cold in my free-season bag. Mmm. That's really good. I bought a rake of these for the Cape Raft Trail and I think the way it's going I'm going to end up living on them because the shelves in the supermarkets are bare. I've actually got some liquid gold with me but as you can see there there's very little left in it and it's gone awfully watery. This one I've had for ages. I've always got one or two kicking about for camping but can't buy them for loving their money now. <clears throat> I'll let you know how I get on with the um, the bivvy bag in the morning. Um, the temperature now, it's warmed up really, that's just because I've brought the, the temperature gauge. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it's just above freezing now, it's 0 0.4 degrees. That was minus one earlier. Anyway, I'm going to retire to bed shortly, so I'll bring you back tomorrow morning. 
see you then. Good morning campers, it's currently 20 to 6 and I had my alarm set for 6 o'clock because the sun sets quarter past 6 but it's very claggy outside so I'm not going to get a sunrise and the meadow pipits they woke me up about half an hour ago and it's disappeared at the moment but they've been going non-stop so I'm wide awake. The Alp Kit Cloak Bivy by the way, so glad I brought that. I've been pretty warm inside it. It's eliminated all the drafts and the condensation is really good, there's hardly any. There was just a, a little bit just obviously where my head is from my breath, but otherwise the condensation's been fine. There's plenty of space in this as well. I mean I'm not a big guy, I'm about five foot ten slim build, but Got plenty of room to lie on my back, sleep on my side, manoeuvre about. You know, it's plenty of room there. I'm really chuffed with this. For what it weighs, I think it's about 220, 200, maybe 240 grams. I'm just going to carry this all the time, even on day trips. This is my emergency bivy bag, but it's really good. I'm very happy with it. I thought I'd be claustrophobic as well. Uh, Alpkit recommend that when you close the zip that you leave six inches. So that's about six inches there. And I thought I'd be claustrophobic with that, but it's been fine. Anyway, I'm gonna try and get a bit more sleep if this metal pipet allows me. Probably not. And then I'll get up and I'll bring you back in. We may actually get a sunrise after all. It's uh, obviously it's quite bad over there, but uh, it seems to be clearing up uh, over the top of Skull Law, so uh, we might get a sunrise uh, after all. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. See if I get my bed and I didn't get a sunrise, I'll be raging like. <laughs> <laughs> nipped up to the summit to see the sunrise but it wasn't up to much it was uh, too cloudy in the east so never mind you win some you lose some just got the uh, the stove on to get a cup of coffee and my porridge it's going to take a bit longer than normal with this mess burning stove because there's chunks of ice in the water right that's me and Gary ready to go I think we're going to head towards the Kips and then break away and then head back down the way and get out this chilly wind. It's really cold. It's very bitter. But eh, uh, leave no trace. You can just make out the shape of my trail star there. What a huge footprint that is. But that's the only trace I'm leaving. <laughs> you ready? ready Let's do it.
we've just came down from up there, we've scuttered around Scald Law and we've been given this really nice view right down um, the reservoir there. What's this, uh, Logan Lear? Aye. 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 Uh, this way, that takes you out to Freep Muir and then down to uh, Balerno. So we, um, we came in this way last night and we got to the house there and then we headed uphill there and then on, on to Scald Law last night. Today we're just going to head back down that way and then we'll walk along. Bit of a pain, I've got an electric fence here, I don't know if it's live but I'm not taking any chances. But we're going to have to squeeze in between here. I'll fit. Go for it mate. I'll definitely fit. Wee guy. Aye. I get called wee gas for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey lads, how's it going? Not bad, Mark. Better social distancing out there. Oh, you're up to me, aren't you? <laughs> Alright folks, we're just going to head back to the car now, uh, bash on down the track there. Hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe as well. I don't know when the next video will go out, with all this uncertainty, but uh, I'll try and get something out at some point, but I have to be sensible. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.